Mm-mm-mm. So you mean to tell me that it took four years and an unarmed black man by the name of George Floyd, R.I.P., brutally being murdered in front of the entire world uh, thanks to that young 17-year-old that had the nerves and was brave enough to record it by the Minneapolis police saying that he can't breathe alongside all the rest of the young brothers that died because I can't even name them all. Too many to name by the police for Roger Goodell to understand that was what Colin Kaepernick was kneeling for. I got two words for Roger Goodell. Fuck you. Now, if it was up to me, I would take my ball, my helmet, and I would leave the motherfucking NFL because I don't need money to live a happy life. I just need money to pay bills. And the NFL is ran by the majority of African-American men who have been treated like shit. They think because they offer you the money. That's all you're going to play for is the money you would do. Say anything for money. But money don't make you happy at the end of the day. Now, I will get right to the point at hand. Roger Goodell is influencing everyone. You know they will sign Cap if he wants to be signed. Because Roger Goodell is the boss when it comes to the NFL. He runs the whole show. Now, whether you like it or you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. That one of the most racist positions in all sports always has been the quarterback position. Always has been. Through your history, there has never really been a black quarterback to have received the limelight of a Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, or Drew Brees, or if we want to go to another great, Joe Montana. And the reason there hasn't been a black quarterback is not because of his skills, because Action Jackson, Lamar Jackson, the reigning MVP, proved that. Well, I mean, a nigga can do more than just run, but they said, nah, this nigga's just good at running. He don't want to throw the ball. Now, they said that black men wasn't smart enough to be quarterbacks. Bullshit. Do you have to be a rocket scientist to read plays? Most of these black athletes that go to college are very intelligent. (laughs) It's smarter than a lot of starting QBs. And I'm not putting this on a racial level. But there are a lot of Hispanic quarterbacks that's not getting recognition. There's a lot of Chinese, et cetera, et cetera. But it has been dominated by white people because we know the quarterback runs the entire show. He is the brain of the entire uh, play. So, you know, once they hike the ball, the quarterback is up to him to either pass it to the running back or throw it off. Simple. That's not fucking hard. But he's also the face of that team. They don't want no black man being the face of the NFL. No black man to be a face of the team because the NFL generates billions. Billions. And who cater mostly to the NFL? White America. So I would quit that shit. I would get me enough money. Most of these guys probably made enough money. But they're addicted or they have signed their name in blood. To the Illuminati or their soul to soul to the devil, and they're not understanding. They will continue to be slaves, you know, until they see the light. And once all of them just quit, even the NBA, and go somewhere, put your money together, try to start your own league, you will see they need you more than you need them. Now, TMZ reports that Roger Dale encouraged the team to sign Colin Kaepernick. I welcome that. Bruh, you are five years late. He is super late on that. And I understand, 
he feels like an idiot for not paying attention. People, and for everybody that thinks that Kaepernick was <laughs> disrespected the flag, you have to be one dumb son of a bitch. It has nothing to do with the fucking flag. <laughs> that was just your excuse to say, oh, we don't need them niggas in the sport anyway. He disrespecting the flag. That was an excuse. Cop out. So, like I said, it's up to Cap. But if Cap, if you're watching this video, bro, I wouldn't go back. I would, literally wouldn't because once you have proven your point, it's nothing.